Hey guys, now I wanted to take you through a training about SMS and the power of SMS marketing. This is one that I've just deployed to my elite team and the guys that have implemented it are already crushing it with results on SMS marketing because they're not doing it the same way as everyone else. We're leveraging our existing frameworks, our existing flows, our existing platforms, but we're just sprinkling a bit of SMS on that's bringing us more revenue. So I'm gonna take you through that training right now. It should take about 10 minutes, but hopefully at the end of it, you're going to have a good understanding of how to use SMS properly and a couple of things that you can upgrade in your systems to get value and revenue out of your customers. All right, so over to my iPad and I will take you through it. All right, let's do this. Cool, so this is the what we've been calling the SMS add-on. And we've, we've implemented this in our program and, it, and it's really, really awesome. So I'm gonna take you through why it's really important because right now when we're thinking about email, no one's checking it as frequently as they used to. It's become a little bit of a junk mail space and people are only using it for personal and business and all the promotions are going into the spam folder or the promo folders. You know, all those cloud-based emails like uh, Gmail and, and Outlook and things like that, all going into this promotions folder and people aren't checking that often. They're only checking it when they've got a bit of free time Time. So we want to make sure that we cut through because messages are getting lost when it comes to our customers and we don't want them to get lost. We want to be front and center in front of it. So the reason we put in an SMS strategy is we want to get all the eyeballs. We want to make sure that if we're sending out to thousands of people that we get thousands of people opening and looking at our messages, okay? The other thing is we want to make sure they're open as soon as they're received. If they're in a junk mail or in a spam folder or a promos folder, they're just not getting opened quick enough and SMS does allow for that. The final thing is, is if we're sending SMS, it's kind of the top of the messages. In emails, they are just getting t underneath more emails that come in, come in. We're getting hundreds of emails a day. We're not getting hundreds of SMSs a day, okay? I'll show you some, uh, some things that I've noticed has gone wrong when people are doing SMS is they tend to treat SMS the same as email. It's just not the same because if we do that, that we're going to be sending too many and people are going to think that it's spam. So we don't want to be sending SMS as exactly the same as emails. We need to think of it differently and think of it like a personalized message because at the end of the day, we don't, no one wants SMS that's spam. And, and the biggest mistake that most people are making is that they think that no one wants SMS at all, which is not true. Because if the SMS is good and it's valuable and it provides some sort of incentive or something to the user or to the customer, they're gonna want it, right? They're not gonna wanna miss out. Now, I'll give you some quick stats here. 75% of consumers say that they are actually open to receiving SMS messages from brands that they care about. So if they love you and your brand and you treat them well, they're gonna open your SMS. There's an eight times higher click-through rate than email, and most people open an SMS within three minutes of receiving it. So SMS, guys, is powerful, but it has to be personal. So I'm gonna take you through now what I took my elite team through. Now, this is part of the SMS add-on, and the key to this is sending the right message at the right time. And there's four types of messages that we send when it comes to SMS. There's an action type message, there's a time-based type message, and there's an offer-based message, and a follow type message, okay? So follower type messages. Now, um, I wanna take you through these. So an action-based message is based on when someone does something with you and you respond to them or transact with them in some capacity or communicate with them based on what they've done. Simple ones here are like a sign up message. You know, you join, a, you join something and you send an SMS to say, hey, thanks for joining. Here's your discount code or whatever it is. Or another action message might be something like abandoned carts. So this could be where someone abandons the cart, you send them through and say, hey, Brendan, got your items in the cart, click here to reward the cart. Action-based SMS messages. People are gonna, exp uh, aren't gonna mind if they get this because you're helping them with something they've already interacted with you. Then we've got like time-based, and I, I did miss one here, but there's one here that we, we call uh, a renewal or even an expiry. So a renewal would be something like, you know, imagine you bought some something that, you know, uh, subscription to something and you wanna, re you wanna encourage them to renew it. An SMS would be a really great way to do that. Something like coffee, okay? So you buy some coffee, you know, usually it maybe it takes four weeks to drink the coffee or the coffee beans, and you send a reminder out to them by SMS saying, hey, I bet your coffee is about to expire, click here to order a new one, all right? So time-based. Then there's offer-based, which is the main ones that people use. And this is things like sending out sale messages, early access, VIP messages. This just goes to everyone, but what we wanna be making sure we're doing is we're sending it out to people who want those offers. Not everyone wants your offer, right? So we wanna make sure we send it out to them. And then the final one is where, it's a bit of a follow-on, and it might be where someone places an order with you or they do something with you and you are either asking or giving them something. So we might ask them for a review, we might just say thank you, or we might even ask for them to give them a coupon code to refer to a friend, okay? So these are SMS messages and the types that we can send. There's obviously lots of more, but I like to think about them as action, time, offer, and a follow type SMS messaging, okay? 
So what we want to do, guys, we want to get started. If you don't have SMS set up, I'm just going to take you through a quick overview on how to do that in Klaviyo. Uh, if you're not using Klaviyo and using another tool, uh, you can forward in a few more minutes. Um, if you don't have this spreadsheet guy or this PDF, guys, it's down below. So make sure you grab it and download it. But setting up Klaviyo is super easy. We just go into Klaviyo, go to settings and SMS, and we really pretty much just walk through the entire thing. The only secret to this one is making sure that you choose the right regions and you add in your legal information. If you don't do that, you may be liable in certain regions for privacy laws, okay? So make sure that you're abiding by all those laws. I'm not gonna take you through how to do that. Just click the buttons, go through the walkthrough. It's gonna tell you exactly how to do it. So let's get into the strategy. It's all great wanting to have an SMS strategy, but the key here is how do we capture SMS addresses? I'm gonna give you three ways to do it now. The first one is we need to make sure we have a Klaviyo list set up and integrated into Shopify. So, oh, I've just killed that. Sorry guys, let me go back to that one there. Uh, cool, all right, that's back. Yeah, is setting it up in Shopify. So we set up this SMS subscribers list in Klaviyo. So you can see the instructions here. We go Klaviyo, lists and segments, create list. Uh, and then we go into Klaviyo, integrates in Shopify, and we link that list into the subscriber messages, okay? And then what we need to do, guys, is we need to go into Shopify, go to settings and checkout, and then we need to tick SMS. Let me just zoom in on that one. We need to tick SMS so that we're capturing email, uh, phone numbers at the checkout. Now this is where the real cool part comes in is we wanna customize our sign up labels to be a little less boring than what we're used to because we usually have things like sign up for our newsletter. That's boring. We wanna give them something exciting to sign up for. One first access to the latest deal sounds a lot better than sign up to our newsletter. So I've just given you a couple of ideas that you can do here, okay? So once we've done that, we then need to capture these, these SMSs. So we really love using a multi-step capture form in Klaviyo, and this is where we have a second step after the first step. So our first one is pretty standard. What most people do is they give a discount for someone to sign up for an email address. What we can now do in Klaviyo is once they click this get discount number, it takes them to a second form where it asks them for a phone number. We're seeing like 90% cut through on this, right? We're getting like 90% of the people that fill this form out are also giving us their phone number. The cool thing about a multi-step form is if they just fill this out and don't fill this out, you're still getting the email address, so super easy. And then the final one is up making sure that everywhere that someone can update their preferences, you have the phone number in here, okay? So the little update preferences button at the bottom of Klaviyo emails is gonna take them to here. But what we like to do is send an email to everyone and say, do you wanna join the deal alerts list? We link them to the, pre the preferences page and we just ask them to put their phone number in to get deal alerts. And then, we, then we're, they're giving us permission to send them deals via SMS. This one is really cool, really powerful. All right, so I don't wanna take up too much of your time, so I'm gonna take you through a couple of flows that are really powerful and how we can integrate SMS into Klaviyo. So the first one is the abandoned checkout. So you should already have an abandoned checkout if you don't build that out, but what we're now doing is inserting an SMS in our abandoned checkout. Okay, so if they've given us a phone number, we're gonna be sending a text message. And the text message is super short, and I've given you an example here. So you can pretty much just copy that and put it into your one. But this is really powerful, and if we're sending it 30 minutes after they're on our site, it's not gonna be weird for them. They're gonna be like, oh, well, I was just on that site, and I did give them a phone number, and we're just here helping them out. So chucking SMS in your abandoned carts, absolute game changer. The other place I love it is when we're adding an incentive to the second part of our abandoned carts. And now sending this via a coupon code, via an, e via an SMS, is getting much more cut through in conversions than via an email now. So we then make this really personal, but we wanna make sure we got the first name in here. So I'll be like, Brendan, I don't want you to miss out on your gear, so here's a secret coupon that you can use. And then we link it directly to the site with uh, the abandoned coupon code there. So they know exactly what it is. This is going crazy, guys. You've got to make sure you do this one. And the cool thing about this is just plug it into your existing abandoned cart flow. It's easy. All right. Uh, let's, I think they're about to close this office I'm in now. So I'm just going to finish it up. The final thing is we want to upgrade our flows with a thank you message. And rather than just doing a boring thank you message that we would do with text, we want to make sure we do it with, S, with SMS. And we want to make this feel personal. So I want to make it feel like the owner of the business has come through and they've actually gone in and they've sent your message to say, thanks for shopping with us. So it's be like, hey, Brendan, thanks so much for shopping with us recently. Here's a code. If you love what you, you purchased, I'd love you to share it with your friends. Here's a code that you can give to someone. One. And you can actually uh, just copy exactly what I've got there. So guys, that's pretty much it on upgrading your SMS. It's super easy. So just make sure you're integrating from Klaviyo to Shopify, you're upgrading your forms, you're adding it to your preferences, you're offering the opportunity for them to get quick deals in SMS. 
upgrading our flows by integrating SMS directly into it and making sure that we're thanking people and keeping it super personal. Uh, let me jump out of this one here. So uh, I just wanna say thank you for joining this. I did wanna try and keep it 10 minutes, but hopefully there's some super actionable things that you can do now to really level up not only your email, but your SMS game. Over and out team.